okay in this series of video tutorial uh, we are going to explain you how to develop a graphical user interface in java for that we have to use a predefined class of java that like j label j text field j panel j frame and it's and many more these classes are defined on package that is java strings at first you have to import that you first you have to import java string package object at level class l2 t level l1 l2 j text field t1 is object j password field button required say login and reset two button b1 and b2 is object and b1 one panel is required j panel t must be in caps t1 is the object of j panel class j frame f1 F1 is the object of JFrame class. Now we have declared the level in the object that we want to be required to create graphical user interface. Now we have we need to create method. Okay. I'm creating here display method. Here we create Now button B one equal to new. 
we need we need to add panel over the frame Just for that we have to use git content pan method to add panel over the pen frame f1 dot git content pan dot git content cmfn dot fp by this method we are adding panel p1 over f1 so f1 is the base container and p1 is uh, container over f1 now we are going to add all the uh, component all the element like label text field buttons over p1 so we have to use add method p1 dot add l1 and we need to follow some sequence the way we want to present our form ok p1 p1 dot add l2 size for the frame okay let's set size model Height frame pro property is, is, is v to be height to, to make frame visible we have to call method set visible as true okay Okay, love inform class. Now, we for now we have we need to create main method class main program. Display we need to create a call display method.
created a class where we have declared the variable uh, we have declared uh, classes that we and we have created object that we need to create graphical user interface as our need as our need we have we need two levels we need two text one text text field and one password field and two buttons the login and reset button and frame for base component base container and panel is a container that panel over the panel container is going to contain all the rest of the elements okay we have to place panel over the frame now so command prompt and try to compile it command prompt dot add t2 but t2 have not defined any t2 uh, object ok and means uh, we have, have to add here we have to replace t2 with tf tf for password field now compile it now compile it interface we have created that is the interface we have created ok we need to change width and height 400, 500 and 300, 300. Control C to terminate program. Control C to terminate program. Now compile it again. We have changed set size. Now. Okay. We can see that uh, we are getting. We are getting. Form where one is the is text field, okay, and second one is password field. We have to write code for login when login buttons. We have to write code for the reset button, okay. If you want to. want to give want to give some layout to the program so you have to import one package import java
create object for grid layout grid layout we are going to implement grid layout by default flow layout is for frame but we are going to implement grid layout for the frame for this project we are particularly we are selecting object we are declaring gl as the grid layout uh, object for grid layout class now we need to allocate some memory gl equal to panel over the frame we have to s assign layout for panel by calling set layout method and passing gl as object gl as argu uh, argument for set layout save this file okay and compile it terminate compile okay semicolon required next video tutorial we are going to write code for login and reset button means we have to write action for the login and reset button when we click login buttons uh, we want to save uh, we want to check that uh, whatever uh, we are typing for the username and password if that username or password is in the database then we proceed for the next form if it is not there we ask for complete registration form thank you for your time wait for uh, my next video tutorial tutorials